Good morning from a very uh, chilly ghoul in East Yorkshire, but nonetheless, I'm very excited for today. So as I've just said, I am currently at Ghoul Station. And there's another place in the country called Pool, which also has a station. I've got the, uh, the big rucksack on, so it's pretty much an indication of a rather long trip. We're heading all the way to Dorset today to do Ghoul to Pool. It's time to head from point to point. So firstly, we are heading off to Doncaster and I've just arrived at the station from a, I was gonna say westbound, eastbound train. And now we need to get a westbound train. So I should probably switch platforms. Ah, um, the train I need to get is currently 16 minutes late. I was meant to have an 11 minute change at Doncaster. It's slightly disappointing because the connection I was supposed to have at Doncaster was going to be to a Grand Central service that now I won't be able to get because of the delay. I could have ticked off a new TOC. <laughs> oh well, one day. Alright, well, so it begins. So, first train to Doncaster. So I've said already, because this train is delayed, it's going to get me to Doncaster after the Grand Central has left. Um, so, the problem is, is that Grand Central doesn't call it Doncaster again for another four hours. So I think it'd be pretty reasonable to assume that I can probably just get the next southbound train, whatever it may be, and I'll be fine. So we are on track to get to Doncaster in time for the next southbound train and I've just looked at my plans and itinerary and stuff and it shouldn't make me any more delayed overall getting to Poole, so could have been worse. So where is the 1219 LNER service to London King's Cross. Newcastle and Edinburgh. And it's on, yes, okay, good. Platform one. Now the train had um, originated from Leeds and I was uh, hoping because of that that it would be uh, in City 225, but it's an Azuma. Shame. Onwards to London. So if you at uh, home are guessing what's happening next, um, of course, it's pretty easy to guess probably that I this train will go to King's Cross and then I'll have to change to Waterloo. Now, by the original Grand Central plan, um, I would have about an hour 20 in Waterloo. I would get there at about quarter to two and then I leave Waterloo at about three. Um, but this train should arrive at about two o'clock instead. So I'll still have an hour in London, so it should be pretty likely that I will still be able to make my connection in Waterloo. Lumo. Yeah, anyway, uh, Peter, so next is London King's Cross. under the bridge. There it is. The bridge that began to make me a rail enthusiast at a young age. But that also means now that we are... It's so flashy because these trees... That means that we are now in Greater London, so it shouldn't be too long. I think it's like about 10-15 minutes left to go. Here comes uh, King's Cross. Let's get ready to uh, get off. London! Brilliant. All right, time for the tube. 
Funnily enough, that um, train back there was actually the Grand Central service I was meant to get originally. <laughs> so I finally caught up with it here. So if I want to get to Waterloo, I'm going to have to go to the um, Charing Cross branch of the Northern Line, I think. So I'll have to take either Northern or Victoria one stop to Euston, then go to Waterloo. And the choice is now, do I get the Northern or the Victoria Line to Euston? I think I'll go with the Victoria Line just so we can get two different tube lines in. <laughs> It doesn't really matter which route I take, to be honest. I've got an hour till I need to be in Waterloo, so... Yeah, I don't really need to rush. As per usual, it's very warm here on the Tube. Which is actually kind of nice, given how cold it is outside today. Okay, we got to Houston, but I was like, oh yeah, cross-platform interchange with the Northern Line, but it's the bank branch that is cross-platform, so we need to go to the Charing Cross branch. Northern Line via Charing Cross. Excellent. Should be just down these stairs, and then it's a straight shot to Waterloo. Well, shouldn't take us too long to get to Waterloo. Nice. And we're leaving Embankment, so that would make the next stop Waterloo. I'm on a right, let's go to the mainline station, shall we? Waterloo. So where is or where will be the 1505 to Weymouth? Annoyingly, I've arrived at like half past two, so I'm early enough for even the previous Weymouth service, but I've got an advanced single so I can't get it. Sucks. Correct the fact that the Waterloo is going to Please be my in the front future London the terminus, it's, for Branksome, it's so surreal. Arston, Poole, this Hamburg is great. I'm very excited for the future, if you can't tell. I do really want to go to a platform already, but I can't, because I don't know what platform the next Weymouth train's going to be on, so... I'm just checking some real-time trains here, and apparently, according to this, it's already at platform 12. I guess we can go investigate. Right, I've had confirmation that this is, in fact, the uh, Weymouth service. It's not even advertised yet, but uh, here we are. All right, here we are. Completely empty carriage. It's wonderful. I'm pretty sure this entire unit is empty, to be honest, but... Yeah, all right, well, we're spoiled for choice on seat here. So if we're going that way, then the views of the coast will be on that side. Yeah, we should sit on this side of the train. Well, here we are on a uh, 444. I've not been on a 444 in a hot minute, like 2019 or something, but... These are, these are really, really good trains. I really like them. It says this part of the train is for Pool, but then it said if it, it listed Pool as one of the stations, if you're going to there, please make your way to the rear part of the train. I'm so confused. I'm just going to stay put. had an explanation for my uh, confusion. Basically, apparently what they do with these services is that half of the train is fast and half of the train is slow. And so I'm in the right half of the train if I want to get to pool faster. So, yeah. Interesting. I've never even heard of that before. That's, that's cool. It's, it's, it's weird, but cool. So this leg of the trip takes um, two hours and 11 minutes. That's what it's scheduled to take. It would be 2 hours 20 if I was in the rear half of the train, so I'm saving 9 valuable minutes of my life. I didn't 
quite uh, catch it on camera, unfortunately, but um, the last two Southwestern 707s just passed me. Uh, that's funny. Basingstoke, my potential future home. We'll see how it pans out. We're almost in Southampton now. Um, the journey weirdly gets really slow here. We're like halfway, not, not halfway, we're about halfway time-wise. So we've been on here for just over an hour and we've got just under an hour left. But we're like 85% of the way there. <laughs> Very weird. Just even warmer for now. Finally, we're about to get to pool. Well, we've made it. It's quite dark by now, but hey, we've made it. Pool, at long last. Well, there we go. We are now in Pool. We've travelled all the way from Ghoul, East Yorkshire, all the way to Dorset. We've travelled from point to point. Now, it would suck if I came here, all the way to Dorset, so far from home, just to immediately go back home again. So, I'm staying here for the next eight days. I'm staying over in Bournemouth. This is just the beginning of several videos that are going to be based around this area of the country. So, I am very, very excited. There's a lot I want to do. So, I hope you enjoy. So I'll see you in those videos. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, see you in a few more Dorset, Hampshire-esque videos. So um, see you then. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. You've been a pretty big factor in helping me to afford doing this trip. So uh, yeah, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the videos that uh, come out about it soon.